Well, hello friends and family. This is Judy reporting in from Burlington, Ontario on the shore of Lake Ontario where it's freezing. <laughs> the sun was out this morning. So welcome to another episode of the adventures of getting Grandma Margaret better. So healmymom.com. <laughs> so it's been quite a journey um, in September. As you know, all the siblings, we all flew in. Sky, Randy, Judy, Carol, and Janice all flew in from around North America to be with mom when we found out the diagnosis of stage four liver cancer. It had been in her colon, as you know, last year and jumped into her. We thought she was cancer free. Anyway, it had jumped into her liver. So it's been quite a journey. Those first few weeks in September, we thought we'd lost her. She was so sick, so weak, waking up seven times during the night with sweats. Wrote up the will, everything was ready. But guess what? God is so good. Mom has been getting stronger. Um, she's been doing the chemotherapy, working in, in integrative with a naturopath, hyperthermia, lots of mega vitamin C doses. Thank you, Nettie Bohm and Dr. Bohm for that idea. So just praying for healing. The last couple of weeks have been amazing because first of all, mom had lost 11 pounds in like a week, a week and a day. We were really, really worried she was losing weight so fast. But guess what? She's got her appetite back. This is fantastic. Um, she was invited um, to the to Michael's school for their gala. Sharon Roblin, thank you so much for inviting mom. Got to see Paul Henderson there and mom even asked for seconds. She ate heartily, praise God. And then what else happened? Yesterday at Huntley Street, we went to see Billy Graham's daughter, um, Ruth Graham, share her testimony of her journey of healing and forgiveness. And mom ate lunch there and we got to see Lorna and wonderful friends at Huntley. So anyway, today we're here at Brandt and actually I would like to ask for your prayer right now. Mom is up there and they couldn't find a vein. Her pick line was blocked and they need to do the chemo, but the pick line is blocked. So they're giving them some, we had to go get an x-ray. We've been here four and a half hours already and we need to get to Kitchener still. So please, in Jesus name, unblock that so that they can give my mom the treatment she needs, give wisdom to the doctor. And I also pray for healing, Lord, for my mom. Thank you all for your prayers for my mom. Healing, but thank you that my mom's vision and desire to live her realization that God is not her time to go home yet. And maybe you heard her share this at the testimony night the other day, but she was watching on Billy Graham, actually the window right up there last time doing chemo, watching Billy Graham on Netflix. Fantastic thing if you wanna watch it. And she realized he's got the message, the story of hope. And Ravi Zacharias, same message to millions of people around the world. We have the hope for the answers in the world, the problems in the world, and we need to give the reason for the hope that's within us. So mom, she's so great. She's been challenging all of us. She's gonna have a testimony night. She's been challenging all of us to give our testimony, write down a two minute testimony, five minute version of what God's done in your life and share that with people. Be ready to give a reason for the hope that you've got within you. So we're gonna have a Christmas carol sing at mom's house. She loves singing around the grand piano. Hopefully my voice has been gone for two weeks. So pray my voice comes back. I was at the children's ministry conference at, at uh, Tyndale, which was thrilling. Mom really wanted me to go. And of course I love being there. Um, anyway, uh, the other thing that's very cool is we had a big snowstorm, obviously the other night, and we were gonna have a prayer meeting, prayer for Canada at Chartwell Church. We'd had it the week before at Faith. And then Chartwell said we could have our prayer meeting there. A snowstorm came, they had to shut down the church early. So mom said we could have it at her house. Guess what? 10 people showed up and four by telephone. We prayed for Canada. We prayed for the mayor of Oakville. We prayed for the MP. We actually had a little quiz, a civics quiz first to find out, you know, do you know who your mayor is? Who is your ward counselor? What ward do you live in? Who's your MPP in Ontario, MLA and BC? Um, have you ever been to a school board meeting? Who are your trustees? Name one city councilor. Have you been to a city council meeting? So prayer breeds intimacy. So as we pray for these people that our God has, you know, we've been elected to serve us, that they serve all of us, even if you didn't vote for them, they're serving you and they represent you. So that was very great. We're, so they all have their assignment to go research who these people are and then build relationships with them. But mom loved it. <laughs> she loved having them and they prayed over my mom as well. And um, so we're just grateful. We're praying for healing. Randy's coming next week with Logan, Lisa, Jamie. Janice is coming in on Friday. Sky will be coming back and my family for Christmas. So. Looking forward to American Thanksgiving coming up with my brother and his family coming up. Anyway, God bless you. Thank you for your love for my mom. Keep your prayers coming. She loves your notes. Even if she doesn't get right back to you, she loves your notes. Send a little note on Facebook, 
private message. Text me if you don't have her cell phone number. Um, my friends, she loves your messages too. Natasha, Cassie, keep them coming. Julia, anyway, God bless you. Oh, one more thing. Pastor Paul Dirks was just here this weekend. So mom, we drove Pastor Paul, he'd been in Quebec, and then he spoke in um, at New City Church at uh, Pastor Ray and Natalie's church. It was fantastic in Brantford. We got to see Margaret Gibb from um, her wonderful women. And so anyway, thank you, Margaret. We're praying for you this weekend um, in Texas. Anyway, that was, mom, was there a full day on Sunday, morning service, evening service? So praising God for the energy she's had. Pray for her appetite coming back and right now for her uh, pick line to be opened up so that uh, she can get her treatment. Anyway, God bless you. Thank you.